this little message is to encourage someone to tell you that you are too close to heaven to turn back now you come too far to turn back and i just want to encourage you ladies and gentlemen don't you quit and don't you switch stay with the lord and make sure that you're 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 standing on the solid rock which means you are standing on the word of god the word of god in revelation chapter 22 said verse 14 blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life and enter through the gate into the city we come too far to turn back now i come to encourage you to stay with the lord i come to encourage you to study the word of god i come to encourage you to feast on the word of god i come to encourage you to pray in the morning pray at noon and evening and pray more if you have to pray i come to encourage you ladies and gentlemen don't you quit and don't you switch i come to encourage you don't you switch and uh, and just stay with the lord I come to encourage you that it's getting late and it's getting dark. And signs of the times are everywhere that the coming of the Lord is very near. When you watch the news, you see it's almost always bad news, sad news, dead news, and crazy news. But I want to let you know I come to bring good news. Jesus said in the book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 1 to 3, If I go, I will come again, that where I am, there you may be also. You come too far to switch. Don't turn back. Stay with the Lord. Don't you give up in the name of Jesus. Zion's Wall broadcast is to let you know that it's getting late. It's getting late. The time is winding up. Encourage your neighbor. Encourage your family. Encourage yourself to keep on keeping on in the name of Jesus. God have something wonderful for you. Jesus said, where I am, there he wants you to be also. Jesus said, if I go, I will come again. He never lie. He's gone and he's coming back again. Keep on keeping on. And as you walk up the King's Highway, tell others. The song, the singer just said, I got dirt thrown in my face, but I come too far to turn around. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes, some of us as we journey on the Christian journey, we got some of us got dirt thrown in our face. But remember, Jesus was God's son and he was uh, rejected. Remember, Jesus was God's son and he got beat up. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, remember. So even though he say he got dirt thrown in his face, he said, I come too far to turn back now. You know the story about the donkey that fell in the ground, in the hole. The story said that the master of the donkey tried to get the donkey out and he couldn't get the donkey out. And he said, this donkey has been so good to me. Oh my gosh, all I do, I can't get him out. At least I could, the best I could do is give him a good funeral. And the story goes on to say they started to throw dirt. Tried to throw dirt in the hole because they couldn't get him out. And then um, the story goes on to say the donkey gets sad saying all these years I carried these heavy load for my master. Back and forth. Heavy load. And this is what I get thrown in my face. Dirt in my face. But the donkey realized every time they throw the dirt on him, he just pat it down, he shake it off, then he pat it down, shake it off, pat it down, shake it off, pat it down. And when he keep doing that, he realized that the same dirt that they was using to throw on him was helping him to rise up higher and higher. And the same thing that he thought they're going to use to bury him is the same thing he used to step up on to rise up. And the more dirt they throw, the donkey keep shaking it off, pat it down, shake it off, pat it down. And he realized that I'm getting higher. I'm coming up out of the hole now. The donkey said to himself, let them keep throwing the dirt because this thing that they thought to bury me is bringing me up out of the hole. Sometimes the trials of life is what get us closer to Jesus. Sometimes the, 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 the setbacks is what get us closer to Jesus. Sometimes when we get let down, put down, talk down. Hmm? 
that help us to closer get us closer to Jesus so we realize that the best friend to have is Jesus sometimes these things let us sing the song what a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and grief to bear and what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer the man was singing a while ago he said I, I, I come too close to turn back then he said I got dirt thrown in my face one one songwriter said God is still in charge he said sometime I got kicked <laughs> But these things help us to be closer drawn to the Lord. Science Paul broadcast with Evangelist Baxter. I'm not immune to negativity. But I'm not a perfect man. So I know I didn't expect my life to be smooth. And so sometimes the trials of life help me to get closer to Jesus. And I always say this. If you can't do nothing for Evangelist F. Baxter, pray for me. That I will be a chosen vessel in this life to be a blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We come too far to turn back and I'm determined to continue. I'm determined to make it to the promised land. I'm determined to tell others about Jesus. Jesus. I'm determined to testify about what he has done for me. I'm determined to let others know that God is able to do what seems impossible. I'm determined to let somebody know that God has the power to let the lame walk, the dumb talk, the blind see. And above all, I'm determined to let them know that Lazarus he brought back from the grave. And if he can bring back a dead man from the grave, he can make Mr. Baxter life change. Guess what? He can make your life change too. He can make your life change. We come too far, ladies and gentlemen, to give up on God. Let us stop the fighting in the church and start loving each other. Let us stop the hating in the church and start to encourage each other. Let us stop the gossiping in the church and start to share the gospel for Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us stop putting down each other and help lift up each other. Let us stop burying each other like how the man was burying the donkey and live for the Savior. But watch this. If in our life we have been buried, shake it off, pat it down, and step up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come too close to turn back now. Ladies and gentlemen, be a blessing to somebody today. Be a blessing to somebody today. I pray that for the rest of my life, I will be a blessing. Now, as I make this message, I know it's going to bless somebody. But I know somebody going to criticize they didn't hear the S. That did, I didn't pronounce the S or the H properly. Pray for me that I will be able to pronounce it properly. Because I don't have a problem in improving for God. But let's stop the negativity and be positive. Somebody want to know why is Baxter so into Zion's wall broadcast? Well, God placed in my heart a peace and a joy and also a burden to share the word of God. In modern technology, just like how we can use modern technology to do bad stuff, God inspired me to use it to do good. Pray for me that the good that God want me to do will become better. In Jesus' name. We come too far to turn back. Don't you quit and don't you switch. Keep on keeping on in Jesus' name. Don't you give up and don't you quit. The song said soon be down. Uh, it soon be done, ladies and gentlemen. Signs of the time are everywhere that it must be the breaking of the day. The night is almost gone and the day is coming on. Jesus Christ is about to come. It soon be done. I encourage you to keep on be a shining light. I encourage you, I encourage you, my friends, to let others know that the King is coming. And it soon be done when troubles and trial shall be over in Jesus' name.
be down, ladies and gentlemen, troubles and trial. In the name of Jesus, we're gonna lay, somebody say, I'm gonna lay down my burdens. We come too far to turn back now. We come too far to quit. Zion's Wild Broadcast with Evangelist Setbacks. I wanna encourage somebody. Be a shining light. Help somebody to know that it's getting late and it's getting dark. Let us be a light in our corner and encourage somebody. Invite somebody to church. Encourage somebody to come to church. Encourage somebody, ladies and gentlemen. Each one, reach one. And in the week, you could also recommend them to Zion's Wild Broadcast by tuning into YouTube. Just type in Evangelist F. Baxter. And if they want 24 7 word, word 24 7 the word of God we have different topics that they could find to be a blessing tell them to type in evangelist F. Baxter subscribe if they subscribe all the messages from Zion's Wild Broadcast they will get freely so just tell them to tune in and they'll be truly blessed remember we come too far to quit we come too far to give up in the name of Jesus lose out on the kingdom of God we are too close to turn back but at the same time make sure we are in a relationship with God Hallelujah. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, as we go, make sure that God is still in charge. Make sure God is still in charge. Put God first. Pray in the morning, pray at noon, pray in the evening. Uh, put God first. Put, bring back worship in our home. Uh, continue to share the word of God with the children. Even if they don't want to hear it, don't stop sharing. My father is not yet in the church, but I always encourage him. You can't force people, but you could encourage them. Continue to do what you can in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that God is still in charge. So put your situation in the hands of God and God will bless you. Hallelujah. You know a life ain't back to life. When we do all we can to do what's right. I don't know if I'm you know you what I'm talking about. I do, I do. Won't the Lord, won't the Lord help you win this fight? Oh, you got to know how to win us. Oh, hallelujah. This is Science World Broadcast with Evangelist Ed Baxter saying we're too close to turn back. Remember, God is still in charge. Put him in charge of your life and see what happens. Bless somebody right now, dear Lord. Dear God, bless somebody. Bless this man. Bless this woman. Bless Evangelist Baxter. Bless this boy and girl. May this message bless your people in the name of Jesus. May this message reach far and near. May this message bless your people as we come too far to give up. We are close to turn back. May this message bless your people in Jesus' name. Have you ever remember laying down, can't sleep? Have you ever remember 
you can't sleep like Jacob. Something trouble you so much that you couldn't sleep. You don't even have the appetite to eat. Have you ever remember that? Oh Lord of mercy. Oh my God. Have you ever remember being hurt before? I know God give you peace in the storm. Oh Lord of mercy. not going to talk you out of the church nobody not going to gossip you out of the church of God make up your mind to stay with the Lord you come too far you come too far to turn back now too close to turn back now on our journey home God will give us the strength we're too close to turn back now on our Christian journey, God is willing to give us strength. The Bible said, but the love of Christ constraineth us. The Bible said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. We're too close to turn back. Evangelist F. Bach says, telling somebody, don't you quit. Just keep praying to the Lord. Keep pressing forward. The woman with the issue of blood, when she get to Jesus, the crowd was a lot of people there. The place was full of people. But she didn't want to be well known. She didn't want to hug Jesus. The woman, she said, I just want to touch the hem of his garments. She didn't want the world to know that she was there. When you're coming to Jesus, you don't have to wait to come to church. Find a place in your home. Find a place in your home and come to Jesus. Find a place in your home and come to Jesus. And talk to Jesus. Tell him about your sorrows, tell him about your pain, tell him about your troubles, and he will answer by and by. The woman just touched the end of Jesus' garment, and she got ill, she got a deal. Ladies and gentlemen, we come too far to turn back now. The first song before this day, God is still in charge. And while you're on your Christian journey, God is willing to give you the strength. There are some things and some problems we have, we can't bear it on our own. There are some burden, some trial, some situation that we can't bear it in our home. It will drive us crazy. We'll go mad. But if we turn it over to Jesus, he can bring peace in the midst of a storm. When the disciples was going crazy, trying to save the boat, Jesus was on a pillar in the ship, sleeping. Then he get up when they call him and speak to the wind and the wave and bring peace in the midst of a storm. As we travel on this Christian journey, there are some things we can't bear by ourselves. There are some things we can't fix by ourselves. I hear the song, the, the song is singing, the, uh, the singer is saying that there are some things that is too big for you and I. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to give it to Jesus. Uh, we're too close to turn back now. And there are some burdens, there are some trials, there are some problems that we can't fix by ourselves. We need to turn it over to Jesus. And shortly from now, ladies and gentlemen, in the name of Jesus, we'll be able to lay our burdens down. Hallelujah. Find a room in your room. Find a place in the name of Jesus. And tell Jesus about the problem. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Evangelist F. Baxter sharing the word of God. Share this message with someone. Ladies and gentlemen, 
ladies and gentlemen, while we travel this Christian path, we take some time to lift up your hand and call the name of Jesus. Spend some time alone like Jacob when you're in a situation that looks hopeless. When we're in a situation that looks sad. As I make this message, ladies and gentlemen, while I finish this message, I will take some time to lift up my hands to heaven, asking God to bless and deliver me like how he delivered Jacob and change his name to Israel in the name of Jesus. We are too close to lose out and heaven, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to let you know that it's getting late and it's getting dark. Signs of the time are everywhere that the coming of the Lord is very near. I just want to let you know, my friends, that Jesus Christ is coming again. The Lord's our rock. In him we hide. He's a shelter in the time of storm. The door. And we shall meet in the morning shortly from now. What a day that will be. On that resurrection morning. When that last from his sound. Jesus Christ is coming back again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. of this message this message entitled too close to turn back now share this message with someone in the name of jesus may the peace of god may the grace of god rest upon you now lord god i thank you to the power of the holy spirit i thank you for putting this burden in my heart and this joy and excited to share your word on science world broadcast bless this woman bless this man bless this boy and girl in the name of jesus i pray hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's too close to turn back now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. can't take much, y'all. God's been so good. And it's good to be here with all of my friends and to be with the great Malico Records for giving us this chance. Oh, man, I tell you, back. I told y'all, I told y'all don't start nothing. I can't, I can't, can't take much of y'all. God's been so good. And it's good to be here with all of my friends and to be with the great Malico Records for giving us this chance. This is a wonderful time, you know, to bring all the, all of my brothers together. Man, I tell you, we, we've been through it, y'all. We've been through it. But look what the change that God have done. Did God do a big change for us? Look at history, what he brought us from. Oh! Oh, man, I tell you, back in the day, we didn't have this kind of... Look at this backdrop, man. Things changed, didn't it, man? 
Fellow Gold Record, look what he's done for us, man. Man, that makes me feel so good. I feel like running all around here in this circle. Running all around and celebrating.